Hi, this is my collection of leather tote bags and I'll make a quick review of it and then I'll tell you which brand is my favorite after all. So on the left, you've got the Go For The Goods bags. This one is the uh, luxury Avery tote in large. Um, and this one is the medium Avery in uh, medium size. Uh, and the color is a bison, um, or bison is the material, uh, is bison, purple bison. Um, this bag is, is very large, quite heavy. Um, but uh, this, yeah, this is a very, very nice bag, uh, which I've been using a lot especially for travel. Each time I travel, I grab these back because it closes on the top and and also I can take a lot of stuff during train or plane. So that's that's a good bag for travel. Oops. I had not noticed this scratch. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but it won't wear out. I have not rubbed it yet. <laughs> um, so this one I really like. I um, try to take for work, but sometimes it's not big enough. But this is uh, this is a, a, a very nice bag. I like the it's lighter, and also I I really like the leather on it. Um, I like the fact that the um, it can close as well with this strap closure. Um, it's it's a very nice bag. I think it's my favorite actually. I love the color. It goes with everything. Um, and yeah, the leather is so nice. I had compliments on this bag. Then I wanted to try Chic Sparrow. Uh, this is the uh, Chic Sparrow rustic bag in Denali. So I've uh, watched reviews saying that it was very oily and it left marks, but I don't think mine is very oily. So I think so. It has no closure at all. Um, this bag I have was very handy for work as well because it's the same size as the uh, um, the large deluxe, but it has no kind of closure. It's just an open tote, but I, um, it's very roomy, so I I like this tote for work when I have many things to carry. And it's quite light, just as the medium one. And now I've got my KMM um, tote in um, natural and vegetable tan leather, in natural, which has patina. <laughs> and uh, I've used it, I've tend to use it when it was sunny. I'm still afraid to carry it in the rain. Uh, I've got some little marks and spots. I think it's, this is from hand sanitizer, but I don't mind. I don't mind the spots. Um, so that's the one I've been using lately because it was a very sunny week. I was not too scared of the rain. So this one is more uh, has more structure, and and the um, the leather is stiff, is stiff. But this is it smells incredible, and yes, it has patina, patina very well. Yeah, yeah. 
this is dirty. <laughs> so I really like all my toes. I'll keep them. But I've noticed some differences. For example, um, in the handles. For example, look at the, the handle there. The handles tend to pull out here. And there, I think it's not very pretty. And here on the Chic Sparrow, that's the same thing. It tends to pull out a little bit when it rubs against my garments, etc. And so that makes me say that the go for the goods are the sturdiest because I have no issue at all and I've worn them more than these two. This one I've, I've worn and the handles are perfect. It's the same with this one. It's been um, a year and a half now. I've been carrying this one a lot a lot and the handles are perfect so i think of all my tote bags um the go forth goods are um the uh, the best made i would say i think it's better quality i really i really do think it's better quality and my favorite would be this medium Avery because of the leather, because of the quality. And the only thing is that sometimes it's too small for what I have to carry, but it's still a consequence bag. It's still a, it's still a nice, uh, well, um, large enough, I would say it's large enough for most of the, of my work. All right, I hope it helped. Bye-bye. <laughs>